press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. France calls for UN Security Council meeting on Syria chemical attack. French Foreign Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian said France strongly condemned attacks and bombings by the Syrian government forces in the last 24 hours in Doma in eastern Gouda, Reuters reported. Le Drian added they were a gross violation of international humanitarian law. He further said France would work with allies to verify reports that chemical weapons were uses, according to Reuters. Local medics and rescue workers said 42 people were killed including children in what they say was a toxic gas attack on Saturday evening. Hundreds of others were wounded showing symptoms they said were consistent with exposure to an organophosphorus compound. Videos and images showed the wounded suffer from symptoms such as fainting, vomiting and foaming at the mouth. Bodies of dead children and other family members can also be seen in the videos and images. U.S. President Donald Trump said Syrian regime President Bashar al-Assad will have a big price to pay for launching a chemical attack on civilians, blaming Russia and Iran for backing Assad, calling the Syrian president animal Assad. Many dead, including women and children, in mindless chemical attack in Syria. Area of atrocity is in lockdown and encircled by Syrian army, making it completely inaccessible to outside world, Trump tweeted. President Putin, Russia and Iran are responsible for backing animal Assad. Big price to pay, he wrote. Meanwhile, Iran's foreign ministry said reports of gas attacks in Syria were an excuse by the U.S. and Western countries to take military action against Syrian government, according to official Iranian news agency Erna. Such claims and allegations by the Americans and some Western countries point to a new plot against the Syrian government and people and are an excuse to take military action against them, comma, or in a reported foreign ministry spokesman Baram Kasmi as saying. Russian foreign ministry said reports of a gas attack in Syria were bogus and any military action taken based on such invented and fabricated excuses could lead to severe consequences, according to Reuters. The spread of bogus stories about the use of chlorine and other poisonous substances by Syrian government forces continues. Yet another such fabricated piece of information about an alleged chemical attack in Dilma appeared yesterday, the ministry said in a statement.